Yo, what is up, everybody? It is your boy Skywalker OG coming at you with some more Rise of Kingdoms content. And today we have for you that re rolled and updated KVK tech from the new Strife of Conquest KVK maps. Now, when we got this in 307, I know a lot of people streamed it. I know Chisco streamed it. I know Bubble streamed it. I know a lot of people streamed it, but they reset our tech. I know you were able to get five, six, um, seven, whatever of improved morale on day one. That is not possible anymore. Um, I did place third or second in the pre um, KVK. So that's where a quite a bit of my extra gem or crystals came from. But I went ahead and saved this video for you guys just in case they wanted to do another update and reset us again but now that we are right there at the level 7 pass about to be opening I've already maxed out our tech we will have another video piggybacking off of this video on how much we spent to be able to max that tech before the level 7 pass coming up this week as well and of course we will be live streaming that pass level 7 pass on Thursday but anyways now that I'm pretty certain they're not going to be rolling back the tech, I'm going to go ahead and show us spending our crystals here. Now, of course, this took me about 35, 40 minutes to actually spend all of these crystals. So what we're going to do is talk for about four to five minutes here, give you guys my opinion on it and what I think the route that you should take when doing this and um, how I feel about this new tech system. And then we're just going to drop out and let the rest of the tech video go and show you guys pretty much exactly how we spend our crystals. You can, you know, watch it or not. We're going to go ahead and spin it up, you know, times two. That way it's not too, too long for you guys. But as I said, it was about 35, 40 minutes. So we're not going to be talking that long because there's not that much to talk about. You will be able to see all the stopping blocks throughout this video to be able to get further into the end of the tech of course that is the main reason why i wanted to record this and show that is the new stopping blocks because it didn't feel like there was any while we were doing our live stream at the beginning of this kvk so let's go ahead and discuss this whenever i did it the first time it seemed like the crystal tech was very very cheap this this go around so whenever i went ahead and did this part i went ahead and maxed out my um <clears throat> skillful operations one and then i went to the skillful operations two and then did everything up to the skillful operations two that i absolutely had to to be able to get skillful operations two unlocked and then i maxed skillful operations two all the way to 10 to 10 and made sure i did everything to get it all the way to 10 to 10. the reason why i did that was because you know usually usually we stop at seven or eight of ten for that skillful operations two um for the to have more war tech at that level four pass at that very first pass opening however i noticed that it's so so cheap this kit and this new tech system that you're this um economic stuff earlier on and then save which is gonna ultimately save you crystals in the end game but you can get this econ tech early on and not really sacrifice too, too much um, war tech to where back in the older system, you would be sacrificing, you know, two, three, maybe even four of your actual war techs to be able to max the skillful operations um, before you go in or for the first zone spikes. Now, doing it this way and going for your econ stuff, you may at most be missing out on one of those um battle techs that you would have been able to have before but that's not too bad when you're thinking about it in the end game and you've thought about all of the the crystals that you're going to spend by the end of the by the end of it by the time that it makes you actually come back and max out that skillful operations you are going to be spending quite a few hundred thousand crystals and me personally i want to go ahead and spend the least amount i can and get it done the quickest i can so that that was my rationality with that that's why we did that and then you will notice that <clears throat> after that we pretty much ran everything for calves and that is because we run three to four cav um, marches on this account so we wanted to get all of our calf tech maxed out before anything else and then we started filling out the rest 
So yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much how I, I'm going to run my type from now on with this new system. We do have that 916 free-to-play account or low-low spending account that we will be doing this new KVK tech system on and doing it pretty much the same way. And I'll let you guys know if that works for a very low spending account. Of course, we only get the 30-day crystal supply on that account. No pop-ups, no nothing. So we will be able to give you a very, very good gauge of, you know, if a free-to-play will be able to finish this tech or not. Now, my feelings and opinions on this Crystal Tag, guys, this honestly is an update that I feel like basically tells us that Lilith has been listening to us, that they are making some changes to try to bring more activity into this game, because honestly, they were driving away the free play with all these new updates, like this new Strife of Conquest tech system. It is very, very hard for a free to play, even a very low spender or a moderate spender in the game. Whenever I say moderate, I mean a person that's spending maybe $250, $300 a month to play in this game and actually have fun and then enjoy this game is very hard with the previous tech system. But with the current one, I, I think it's very enjoyable. I like it. Um, of course, I've only had it on my pay to win account, so I'm not being able to fully grasp or fully feel the gravity of how <clears throat> how much this update is really going to help the free-to-play but with all the new free systems like Kerouac and the cheaper um, crystal tags and um, the uh, crystal quests with all three of these things coming into play I really really feel like this is a very good step in the right direction for Lilith and for the free-to-play in this game and for this new KVK system anyways guys until next time um, like I said we're gonna let the rest of the video play out but until the next time enjoy the rest of y'all's week and peace out and of course don't miss the live stream on Thursday Rage on that beat, going crazy.
Thank you.